Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, quickly before we start, I just want to say something which I normally leave till the end of my videos, but I think because I'm leaving it till the end, you might be missing it maybe. What it is, is I basically, I need you to hit that thumbs up. Yay, thumbs up. And if you could, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. That would be really good as well. It would really help so much. So I would love to carry on doing these videos for you. I'd love to develop my channel, watch it grow, do more of these, and keep the, all this FPV stuff going for you guys out there. So do that, do those two little things, that would be amazing. Two little clicks, that's all it is. Thank you guys, thank you so much, it'd be amazing. Back to the video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the Freestyle 2 and we're gonna look at the binding procedure. I've had a number of sort of, quite a few inquiries about how tricky it is, how hard it is to actually get it bound. And I know now and again, for some reason, it doesn't bind the easiest. So sit there, let's get it bound. So like I said, this is a brand new, ready to go, or ready to be bound, Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. Here she is, how she comes out of the box. I've got a couple of batteries which I'm going to use there on the side, so put that over there, or maybe over here actually. Put that out of the way. So there's your little Hawk. Here's your two batteries that you're going to use to get it going. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be an issue or it's not going to bind very well. So let's get into this and get it going. We've got the Beta FPV Lite Radio 2. Great controller, by the way. Really do like this. First off, let's make sure that the controller's in the correct protocol. And that is D8 mode. And you can tell that by the flashes on the front here. One, two, three. Three pink flashes means it's in D8 mode. So that is ready to go. D8 mode set. If you're not sure about this radio, I will link my other video down below, which shows you how to set the protocols and the modes up correctly. D8 mode, ready to go. That's what these Hawks rely on. So two batteries. Now let's plug the batteries in. Oops, excuse me. One and two, zoom in, so here you have your lights, now we've got the batteries in, try and move it out of the way, you've got your blue light and your red light blinking, and what we're after is we're after a bind sequence, which is basically when you're in bind mode, this blue flashing light will be solid and you'll have a red blinking light. There's a button here on the top. If you press this and let go, it does nothing. And the reason it does nothing is because that is actually your boot button. That has nothing to do with binding this drone. You may make a little mistake thinking that is, but the actual button that you need to bind is on the bottom. It's just under here. So it's just there. That button there is the bind button. So we can focus a little bit more. There's a little black square there. So if I was to press that, this would hopefully just go into a solid blue. So let's press it once. Turn it over. And then you can see solid blue. And if we do the bind on the controller, just by pressing the bind button, because it's in D8 mode, it will bind. There's also another way. Let me just unplug that battery. If for some reason you press that, that obviously doesn't because that's the boot, you press the bottom one, you're still not getting a solid light on here. You can do it through beta flight and that's the way I want to show you how to do it because it's very easy. If you ever have a problem, you can do it through beta flight. So let me get my computer set up and show you how to do that right now. Okay guys, here we are. Here's my computer. Here we are in beta flight. 
get your USB cable, plug it into your computer, get your hook. This is the beauty of this process. You don't actually need any batteries in. You can if you want to, but there is actually no point. If you do plug your batteries in, please make sure you don't have your props on because it is or can be dangerous. USB connection is at the top here. Make sure USB cable is the correct way. Plug in. And the power from the USB cable actually does power the actual receiver. So there you can see the flashing lights. And what we need to do is get this into bind mode. And this is a lot easier than fiddling with the actual buttons on here. So into beta flight. Connect it up. You can see your little quad there, straight over to the receiver tab. I still have my light radio 2 which is on, that is ready to go. And what we need to do here, we need to go over to the CLI tab and we are going to type this nice little command which is bind underscore I'm going to try and focus in on these lights. Bind underscore RX. Press enter. And you can see the magic has just happened. A solid blue light, which is exactly what we're after. Solid blue light, flashing red, means we are in bind mode. Hooray. We know our controller is in D8 mode, so now all we need to do is press this bind mode on the back here. I haven't got enough hands, so let me zoom in a bit so I can set this up for you. I want you to be able to see what's going on. There's the flashy lights, hopefully you can see that. Here's my bind button. Come down here a bit. Here's the bind button. Press the bind. Flashes. Red lights are communicating. This is all communicating now. And to me, that indicates that it is bound. So, what we are going to do now is we're just going to unplug. Zoom out. Grab your batteries. Plug your batteries back in. One and two. And there, what we have is a solid light. And that is communicating. It's indicating that there might be a little issue, but there. So yeah, because the actual, I can see it, this is bound up. Because I'm getting the red actual LED. When I flick the switches on the controller, it is moving and it is doing something. So just quickly, while I have it here, I'll plug it back into beta flight. This is all in one take guys, just to, no edits. Back into beta flight. Connect. Over to the receiver tab. Here you can see that the color bars are all moving and it is bound. And the issue is obviously those letters, T-A-E-R, receivers not quite set up. I've got another video linked down below that will sort that out for you. There you go. That is how to bind the Tiny Hawk. Probably all Tiny Hawks actually. If you have an issue, do it through the CL command and it will bind perfectly. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Like I said, if you've made it this far, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. See you again.